the availability and sustainability of energy, for example, electricity, gas and gasoline, are key to our future growth. A stable, reasonably priced and sufficient energy supply will allow the economy to continue growing sustainably. For this reason, energy transition is a key component of the government's economic restructuring plan. Yet, we must begin confronting the inconvenient truth about the way we consume energy in the country. We grew up in a country with abundant natural resources. Previously, Malaysia had large hydrocarbon reserves that translated into a good volume of crude oil and natural gas. This allowed us to consume natural gas to generate electricity at a low cost. And natural gas was even exported to other countries as LNG. At one time, crude oil production was around 650,000 barrels per day. Production at that rate was more than enough to meet domestic consumption with the rest exported. My generation grew up thinking that we could always fall back on oil and gas to make up for any shortfall in our economy. The economic structure that exists today was built on the foundation of oil and gas riches that afforded us cheap energy all this while. There are some facts I need to share to provide the context for pivotal policy decisions the government has to make, such as energy transition and the retargeting of bulk subsidies. The facts are closely related to the availability and sustainability of the country's energy sources for the next 20 to 30 years. First, crude oil production has dropped sharply in recent years. Current figures show that Malaysia is producing only around 380,000 to 390,000 barrels of crude oil per day compared to 650,000 barrels per day at one time. Second, natural gas consumption in peninsular Malaysia for electricity generation and as an industrial feedstock has exceeded domestic production. For the year 2023, Malaysia has actually imported around 25% of the natural gas needed for the peninsula from other countries. This is expected to rise further in 2024 and will continue to rise if we don't transition to renewable energy sooner. These facts are already known to policymakers and industry players. For example, Petronas staff in Kerti are well aware that the capacity of the natural gas processing plant has been partially idle due to the decreasing natural gas supply. The inconvenient truth is, if nothing is done, Malaysia will shift from being a country capable of providing energy from domestically produced natural resources to a country that imports natural resources, crude oil, natural gas, to provide energy. If we continue with previous practices of bulk subsidies, imprudent energy use, and electricity generation mix that is dependent on coal and natural gas, by 2050, our economy will depend on imported energy to power the nation. This is a fact that we don't like to hear. It's easier to dismiss it as someone else's problem to be solved by someone else at another time. But our children will inherit this problem in 10 to 20 years from now. The Ministry of Economy will continue to focus on building the country's energy sustainability by 2050 because our economic sovereignty is at stake if this issue is not resolved. Let us pass on the country's economy to our children in a stronger and more secure state than what we have now.